Cybersecurity and protection against such cyber attacks are often part of advanced technical courses. Making it practical and engaging can offer a great opportunity to adult educators and adult learners alike to have greater impact and engagement. Our main goal in the third and last video is to briefly cover applications of the didactic advantages for adult educators by suggesting practical examples, classroom exercises and learning games and simulation that can be used by potential andragogues to make this course useful and engaging. Teaching strategy for different target audiences can be very important. However, active learning and making it engaging is always important. Active learning is any approach to instruction in which all students are asked to engage in the learning process. Active learning can take many forms and be executed effectively for cybersecurity training. Commonly, students will engage in small or large activities centered around writing, talking, problem solving, or reflecting. It can be individual, collaborative or cooperative learning to effectively engage your students. Certainly, some teachers are naturally compelling and intuitively spark a zest for learning in students. But most of us have to work at it. You can energize your classroom by engaging your students. Engagement is a necessary first step for active learning. To engage your students most effectively, you should, wherever possible, try to involve them in their own learning. Any number of popular techniques will do the job, including individual or group activities. For example, classroom quiz a fun way to engage learners and there are many types of quizzes you can devise, such as multiple choice, true, false or fill in the blank quizzes. Similarly, you can use polls and clicker style questions, jigsaw activities, crossword etc. can be used as individual activities. In group activities, you can use buzz groups short discussions that are done in pairs or groups of three people to solve a problem or to agree on a definition, or debates on serious issues to encourage participants to cooperate and to explore a topic. Debates are competitive. Groups or individuals are pitched against one another to put their argument forward. But also, they can work on problem or concept mapping. For longer term, they can work on group project and participate in classroom presentation which will encourage peer teaching. There are many quality online resources available for the adult educators as well as self-learning adult. Center for Development of Security Excellence provides various free cybersecurity classroom activity resources for learners including games, posters, shorts, videos, and webinars. Center for Internet Security provides plenty of resources and information for the classroom activities. Hack This Site is a free training ground for users to test and expand their hacking skills. Similarly, Jeopardy Labs have lot of readily available resources and also allows you to create a customized game which can be played online from anywhere in the world. Building your own Jeopardy template easy. Just use our simple editor to get your game up and running. Gamification is the use of game mechanics and game thinking to engage users in solving problems and to motivate them to learn concept of cybersecurity. Gamification has a tremendous opportunity to revolutionize the speed, efficacy and relevancy of training in the quickly evolving landscape of the cybersecurity sector. Increasingly, organizations are using gamification for company-wide cybersecurity training and to increase awareness of cybersecurity. Here are some basic elements of a successful gamification strategy. To get engagement, it's important to design a game that will resonate with the intended audience, researching what employees like, what motivates them and what devices they use most frequently will provide a solid foundation from which to design an effective training. The most effective trainings are short, 10-minute sessions every other day for six weeks can be far more effective than a single, three-hour session. Effective use of visual aids like pictures and videos can help to get a point across fast while keeping employees engaged. Using rewards is one of the most important elements of a game-based approach, as rewards keep users motivated and incentivized. Games are supposed to be fun, but it can be easy to ignore this critical element when you're so focused on designing a thorough training strategy. Finally, training should be continuous and not limited to a one-time event. Keeping track of an employee's progression through a game, with rewards at certain milestones, can help to keep employees engaged over the long term. There are numerous freely available cybersecurity games are already developed for different target audiences. 
Here are some sources that can be useful for your classroom additional learning resources. Lastly, it is important to add that the new technological era is here to stay and in the coming years the technological will play major role in teaching as it become more ingrained in our life. The importance of innovative learning techniques in cybersecurity is imperative. New learning resources like gaming and cybersecurity simulation should be encouraged in adult teaching and employee training for individuals and organizations looking to improve their cybersecurity awareness and skills. Understanding cyber theory can be beneficial, yet, the most profound and effective way to learn is through doing. Once again thank you for your attention and we hope that the examples and suggestions presented in this video will come in handy for your classes. Please check other ANCOM course resources on our website, http.ancom.erasmus.site.